Happy 4th of July, y'all. I'm the Dollar Sportsman, and we have an episode for you today. This is the M3A1 Grease Gun by Umarex, and we're gonna have some fun. This is gonna be awesome, guys. Keep watching. This hat, totally ridiculous. It's like six bucks at Walmart, but it does light up. I don't know if you can see that in the sun, but it's blinking. You like the stash too? It's just for you guys. You're welcome. Enjoy it. Enjoy it while you can. A very special thank you to our channel sponsors, Zan Projectiles. We're not shooting any Zans today because this is a BB gun, but they make great slugs. Fantastic slugs, amazing slugs, and I use them in competition. They are fantastic and for hunting. So check them out, there is a link below, zanprojectiles.com. Also a very special thank you to Utah Air Guns, where you can also pick up one of these. Uh, Utah Air Guns has sponsored my competitions for the last few years with extraordinary air guns. I've really appreciated it. Plus, they're super cool people and uh, they're right down there. So if you get a chance to go to their shop, you should, and uh, pick up some fun Umarex stuff while you're there. There's also a link below. Now, the M3A1 grease gun was one of World War II's most iconic machine guns. Uh, you could say submachine gun even. And this thing was phenomenal. But in order to afford one of those these days, you'd have to be very rich, which I am not. Umrex came out with these replicas, BB gun replicas that are super fun to shoot, super backyard friendly, and we are going to have some fun today with this and see what we can do. We'll test some a little bit of accuracy and then we'll, uh, we'll have some fun with my shooting range here. A very happy 4th of July to all of you. Full disclosure, Umarex sponsored this particular video. So we get to shoot this for funsies because they sent it to me and I really appreciate it. I was testing this out the other day and it was a blast. It was a blast, which is why we're doing this video now. This is a 60 round magazine here. This is full auto. Uh, you can have some fun on semi-auto as well. There's a switch right here. So you can do safe, semi-auto, and full auto. I don't know why you would mess with semi-auto. Doesn't make sense. We load the magazine in like so. There is a chamber here that you open up and you rack this back and let it forward and then it's ready to fire. Close that up and you're good to go and you can have some fun. Now it's a little bit heavy, but uh, not bad. I appreciate the fact that it has this stock, which comes down very compact. You could probably attempt to one hand this, but it's pretty heavy. It does have peep sights on the back and a front sight as well that you can look down and kind of aim with that, or you can hip fire it, whatever suits your fancy. There we go, very simple. It's a 60 round mag. I don't know if I mentioned that. It takes two. 12 gram CO2 cartridges that you load in the base of the magazine here. Now guys, one thing that I would say that is uh, falling short is they need to send like five magazines with this, not just one. <laughs> it's because it's so fun. You get about three mags with your CO2 and uh, who wants to keep reloading? So just grab yourself some extra magazines since they don't send it out and uh, cock and go. I've only got the one today, but that's okay. We're gonna have some fun. All right, y'all, we've got a target about 10 yards away, you know, backyard friendly. I've already cocked this. Let's see, uh, let's see how it does in terms of accuracy here. Full auto. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Dang, that's, uh, that's actually extremely accurate for a full auto BB gun. All right, all right, well, we gotta test this out on some bigger stuff, I would say. Is that what you say? Let's do it. All right, y'all, this is a test I know you all wanna see. The soda cans. Should I do this right-handed for your benefit? Okay, here we go.
Red, white, and blue, baby, that was great. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna test the strafing action now of this. Let's see how we do. All right, I'm gonna shoot this left-handed though because I'm gonna need that left-handed accuracy. All right, here we go. I think I need a redo. We'll just eyeball it this time. <laughs> hey, that was better. Not too shabby. I mean, I could go a little bit faster, I would say. But, uh, yeah, I like that. Red, white, and woohoo! All right, y'all, we got the balloons. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough to try to hit them all. We'll see if I can do it in one or if I need two. Here we go. Ready. Aim and fire. Oh. <laughs> one left. There goes the hat. Dude, that is so fun. This is what you could be doing at your 4th of July party right now, just saying. I don't know if BBs will set up Firebird targets. We're about to find out. Let's see how we do. A little nervous. All right. Fire in the hole. All right, so to answer the question, BBs will not set off Firebird targets. Well, y'all, a very happy 4th of July. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you stay safe this holiday season. Have some fun. Uh, I will say I'm only getting about two mags for CO2 fill on this, two mags of awesomeness. So keep that in mind, you're, you're gonna want extra mags. Just saying. This thing is super fun. Uh, I, I've been having a blast. As you can see, uh, it's super exciting. So if you wanna pick up a piece of history that's actually affordable and have fun in your backyard or at your party or what have you, you can pick this up. I haven't had any issues with it at all. Uh, the two mags thing before CO2 is kind of annoying. But uh, other than that, it's fantastic, it works really good. I've noticed that Umarex seems to really have a good clench on making these little CO2 replicas. They are fantastic, they've always worked well for me. So, I'm the Dollar Sportsman, thank you for watching. And have a very happy 4th of July. Yeah! <laughs> America! Thanks y'all, happy 4th, love ya.